Stay right, and then turn right. Stay right, and then turn right. Turn right. Stay right, and then turn right. Turn right. Stay left, and then turn left. Turn left. Turn left. Like we're gonna haul a dozer from uh, Seattle to Kennewick or something like that, 243 miles.
things up and spread here because we get things done out here and get her done. Now you get her done. I already got her done. That's all I know. But yeah, this place here was confusing getting in. I had trailers everywhere, and gates and roads. Didn't know how to get in there. My satellite, my okay. GPS voice ain't loud enough. Sounds kind of funny. I always sound like he wants to turn left. What he said right, he said it's left or something. Sounds left to me. But my hearing ain't that good. Still driving the W900 with a new paint job. Stay Put right. The miles on her ain't even got the tires wore out yet, though. Turn right. This Seattle's complicated place. It's got all these little little roads uh, that split Stay off every which way like this. Kind of neat though. I thought I'd want to have a good GPS when I if I drove good in real life. Tell me which lane I need to be in and all that stuff. Be kind of complicated. Now you gonna turn the wipers on? Nah, that's not enough rain. Them old wipers just streak up the windshield rail. That old doors are pretty ugly. I forgot what the sea I had it was back there. That old truck pulled pretty hard. It's late tonight here. Uh, we get started though. Late in the evening, I never mean to haul any jobs at night. I don't like to drive in the dark on this. Stay right, and then turn. But I went to set and turn my headlights off. So maybe if it gets dark, I can see a little turn better. Turn right. I drove one other night in the dark, couldn't see a thing when I started to turn. Stay and right. If you turn, looked left or right, you couldn't see nothing, just like it was black. But I went in there and set the headlights up and changed some things in the graphic settings that your exit told me about. And I've done a few other things. Drove my NASCAR heat, done a couple races. I've run three races with it. The race I run tonight was the second race I run, and I qualified first for Kentucky, and I finished first and, and lapped about ten of them. So I figured that it set on too easy. Stay left.
Oh, uh, by the way, before I forget, MHA Pro Mount. 138, driving on 138 SCS. And it's working fine. Rerouting. That's MHA Pro Mount, people. Get your cup. I don't know why it gets me to pull in there. I never can get it to check the weight. I don't get it. It probably told me to bypass nothing that pop up, so I don't know. You don't know much of nothing, Rusty. Rust, Hell, Ralph. I've done something better I hadn't done before. Time travel, people. I didn't think you could, but I did. I tell it was Friday at 4 o'clock here. I talked to Saturday at 4 o'clock. Everything was fine. So I figured we'd we'll be all right to Saturday four. I was on a phone call with tech support and they was in Asia. It was Saturday at 4 a.m. over there and uh, 4 p.m. in the afternoon here. So I don't have time traveling there, time work going on. Four hours on the phone tech support or three. They won't listen to nothing you tell them. Aggravating as a man, tired and wore out. Man, how many devices you got on your system and all this, them devices sucking out there. I said, well, it was working fine before it quit. Just as soon as another internet service comes available, bye bye AT and T. I'm at a lot. I, it's run smooth all the time, bad except you know a little bit here and there, but it's not. It's not that great. Fastest it goes 15 megabytes downloading. One up, one megabyte up, maybe hit two every now and then. And they've got a. Let's see. That other company, they sell. Uh, I said 25 down, 25 up, 50 down, 50 up, and 100 down, 100 up. For the 100 down, the 100 up is just 69 dollars for that another company. And I probably pay more than that for this thing I got. It's so bad a shape when I, when I done a speed test on it. It was running uh, 6 down and like Point four, not even one, one megabyte a second. Uh, I've been uh, trying to upload a video for a day and a half, and it's about sixty percent uploading. It's terrible. Won't load Facebook. Just every now and then it'll load it. And I'm a terrible time with it. Yeah, I was aggravating with it, Rusty. I'd try and send Peggy some messages, and, and it won't even send a message there. It says, there, and all that stuff. Now she's all mad at me because I ain't answering her. Yeah, they don't understand, Ralph. That's the way they are. I hope everybody's out there doing okay watching. Having good days and all that stuff. It was hard here today. Hit about a heat index of about 109 again. Humidity about 90. I think the humidity outside right now says it's 99 percent at 4 o'clock in the morning. 90 percent, 99 percent. You grab that, you already get with it. Inside of my house, you made it 41 temps or 71 in here, 40, 41, 71. Feels good in here. Now, when you see me, we you over and bump that car a while ago? Y'all ain't gonna believe me, I know you ain't. Nah, I wouldn't believe you. But, uh, I was reaching for a camera button. 
Every time I do that, mainly is because I see a car getting ready to pass me and I want to get a picture of it. And I start looking for the button on the keyboard and next thing you know, I've hit the car. That's my story and I'm sticking with it. I even stick with it, but we ain't buying it. I don't care if you buy it or not. Well, it's good to be making videos. I'm going to put that NASCAR video on there when I, that NASCAR Heat, NASCAR Heat 5 video on there. Maybe tomorrow, that race in Kentucky. But that one I finished first in, and I won't post it because I almost said it's sit on too easy because I qualified first. I never got past near a time, and I lapped five of them by the time a 15-lap race was over, so I went back in there and set it on hard, and I qualified about 25th on hard, so I didn't do too good on hard. I think I finished 15th, though I done fairly good on it. I've got plenty of billboards everywhere, lighting up the night sky. I never ever try to make a video in the dark. I try to sleep before I start, and I meant to this time. And me being old and slow. Yeah, yeah, you, you tell the truth that time. Well, anyway, being old and slow and stuff. I forgot all about it. If you don't quit drinking so much coffee, it's going to kill you. Uh, nah, I'm used to it. I like it thick like, like, like butter there, uh, rusty. The spoon just stand right up in the bed and love it. I seen that real. This is smooth ride, right? this nice truck, people. I know everybody usually trades trucks every video, but I'm kind of got a hankering now. Never mind. Two pieces of that can find that uh, trailer going out with the uh, MHA skin on it, so I can use that new MHA truck skin on this and with the MHA trailers. That's the reason I'm keep driving it right now. See, two times I stop at way station, can't get no reading on it. I'm gonna just start bypassing them. All of them. You go pour play right well? Nah, I'm alright, I got a butter like a moose. <laughs> it couldn't know that. Well. Feels good to be driving again instead of just laying here doing nothing like I was when I took that time off from making videos. I went probably eight months and never opened a single game. I had plenty, I even bought one or two while I was Stay while right. I was uh, not Next doing anything right. but I still didn't open them. I bought an uh, NBA UK or something like that. And I bought SpongeBob square paints bikini bottom for the kids. And they never have played it yet. I played it a few minutes. Me and one of the granddaughters played it for a little bit. Something about headlights. 
and turn them all up brighter. Stay right, and then exit right. Getting back to the important stuff in life, these chickens I got for the grandkids. Started out with four or two roosters, Turn two left. hens. Found out that, that wouldn't work. They was killing the hens, so I had to get 14 more roosters. I mean hens. I've been watching them. I found out roosters can talk to hens. They can, if they find food, they can make a sound. All hens will run to them. Stay right. And they can make all, they can make a hundred different sounds. But anyway, they can tell a hen to lay down. Turn right. And some of them will lay down, and some will run from them. But anyway. It's funny out there the other day, old oh, he's ready the rooster made that sound, whatever it is, for him to lay down. Turn left. And one laid down. But he was on the other side of the fence and <laughs> couldn't get to her. That was funny. That two big Rhode Island red roosters looked good. Bunch of chickens. And they could dig holes in them. Uh, in them. Uh, the rock gravel bottom, uh, they dig holes six inches deep, all of them, and, uh, and see if find something they need it. I don't know why they dig so much. They're tough. When yeah, that's right. Go straight. Another one of those places is very hard to find where you need to be. And pulling this funny looking trailer with all them swivels on it. Not gonna make it easy. Now you just have a can't find where he's going. Or just send you out there walking to start with, Ralph. You ain't doing nothing walking to start with and find it going to it. Nah, that's that's a good idea, Rusty. Get ready to turn left. We've been doing it all along, Ralph. Turn left. Films you pull it in the parking lot. Yeah, I know that. We are finished. People, thanks for watching the Truck and Duck Express. If you enjoyed the video, click like, tell a friend, share it. Do all that kind of positive stuff. Put some comments down there. Bad comments, good comments. Let's talk. I like to talk. I'm old and I like to talk. Nah, that's for dang sure.